Sir, how can I help you today? I have printed out some pamphlets! Oh, thank you very much. I'll, I'll give him a read. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. This episode of Biders and Dragons has been brought to us by our patrons at patreon.com forward slash Biders and Dragons. For as little as £3 a month you can support our show and for £5 a month you can get access to our Discord where we discuss episodes, plan new things for the show, look at the Biders Wikipedia which is also available for everyone and do lots of things like fan theories and discussions on where the episode is going. It's a lovely time. We also have like people like just making characters which have some end up becoming pre-made in the yes. current batch and maybe some for the future batch for the, the, the third and final selection which we'll do one day probably yes. mid bay through this year <laughs> yes. next year it's been good fun it's been a, it's a great time and uh, it's a lovely little community we're building please join our patron uh, we love you thank you and let's crack on with the show uh, we are here today with Jake Brandon, Alex O'Keefe, and James Bacon Hayes. Yay! Oi, oi. Hey! Uh, Ollie Ryder is joining us later, but he is currently having trouble, so he may not be. <laughs> this is loop 205. <laughs> okay. Bloody uh, hell. It's yes. gone a while. A lot of stuff has happened. Um, <sighs> so. 205 of anything is where things stop going off. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's one piece. <laughs> that's what is getting started. <laughs> sure. uh, so I was, I was talking about like produce and stuff, but then again, twenty days sometimes like veggies go off anyway. So. Anyway, so, Alex, <laughs> who are you playing yesterday? Well, I'm Alex. I edit the show. I also do Twitch when I can't be bothered. It's been slacking lately. <laughs> uh, um, and I today, let's start with Bacon. Who do you think I'm going to be? Um, it doesn't matter who you think I'm going to be. Because tonight, Farringdon is going to go one on one on the table with the great one. The Rock will forget his role, because you will know it. Uh, during his interview segment later on in the night. Um, he's powered by Tamana Tequila, so energy and pancakes. <laughs> um, his positive traits are he's the most electrifying man in all of Buddies and Dragons. He's got zero flaws. Negative traits. If enough NPCs around Farrington are doubtful by his electrifying aura as he's the people's champion, the movie deal comes up and he has to leave the loop. And due to his contract negotiations, this is a new thing, <laughs> if he gets punched more than three times, he will take any obtained scratch card and walk away from the loop. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, remember when The Rock was fun? I know. <laughs> Dickhead. Uh, Not on this show. Mm. Not on this show. <laughs> uh, lovely. And Jake, who are you and who are you playing as? Hi, my name is Jake Brennan. I host the Subcultured Podcast, a podcast exploring subcultures from around the world. <gasps> Uh, we are currently on a hiatus, depending on when this goes out. Um, but you can keep up to date with me at uh, only underscore pairs on Twitter, or my art at rh underscore art on Twitter, or you can look, find me on Twitch at only underscore pairs, where I sometimes, like Alex, stream things. Uh, not as good though, or as sexy. Well, what does um, what does rh stand for? Uh, red right hand. Oh, okay, cool. That's my art, my art brand. It ties awesome. to an it ties to a family name. It's not a weird it's not a, a weird thing. I promise. Unless, <laughs> I mean, okay, I red and right. To say that we're all we're all equally as sexy. So we are yes. also, we're all equally red. <laughs> equally red, and it's definitely not a fascist thing. I promise you. Someone's already pointed that out to me several times. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're red shirts from uh, what, Star Trek. 
Yes, it's, it's it's that. Technically, it's about judges and lawyers, um, according to the family name. But let's carry on to the more important <laughs> matter at hand, which is today I will be playing Big Number Bob. <laughs> Now, not to spoil anything for the audio viewer, Big Number Bob is an accountant at HMRC. He wears a lovely white a white shirt with a lovely black tie, but he's also a giant orc war boss from the 40k universe. <laughs> His pros are that he's a great accountant, he can count to many big numbers, and uh, as the story goes along, he will find bits of scrap to attach to himself to make himself bigger, stronger, and more dacker. The cons are, unfortunately, he gets very, very angry if you've, if you've been skipping on your taxes. So let's hope we don't go to any, any dodgy places that have been, have been playing properly in their taxes. How do you pay him taxes? Does he uh, take teeth or does he take pounds? Well, he works for a tax company. He's like, you know, he's, he's just doing the accounts. Uh, that's true. He, he directs you to the um, HMRC website and directs you for the right links and goes you through the proper processes. He just stands he... over your shoulders just filling in your details. Oh. Yes. It's a good thing one of our characters didn't fudge numbers for one of their movies that came out. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, if you're fudging numbers, he's not gonna like that. Uh, well, lovely stuff. And Bacon, Bacon, who are you and who are you playing as? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Bacon. I bit stream occasionally, and tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be Tommy Tumble. Tommy Tumble is a large seven foot man who's got quite a large belly. And all he is known for is falling and uh, rolling over. <laughs> but the thing is, when he rolls over, he can't stop rolling. Okay. And I know you think you're waiting for a pun here, but there isn't a pun. <laughs> it's literally says, big man who, if he falls over, will act like a perpetually moving uh, rolling holder. Will only stop if the colour red is about. Oh, okay, the colour red. That's interesting. Uh, uh, and you, you can't stop him, like... It's like, he's like the Juggernaut, but he's fallen over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, what's his pro then? Uh, well, when he's rolling about, he's indestructible. Can't be killed. Okay. And I'm guessing his con is he cannot stop rolling. <laughs> yeah, he cannot stop rolling. He has a bit of control of where he goes, but not much. Uh, so. Heads or tails, everyone? Heads. It's tails, I'm afraid. So no dinner oh. today. Uh, okay, so it's a cloudy three, so there are clouds in the sky, but honestly, it's not impairing much at all, if anything, and Mother is feeling paranoid Ooh! today. Oh no. Uh, it's a cloudy day in Farringdon, Mother's in the kitchen making a cup of tea and unloading her new air fryer. Uh, we cut, first of all, to Kevin Kelly in the <laughs> in the hallway. <laughs> Kevin Kelly's in the hallway and he has The Rock with him and he has the right to The Rock, you've got you have an exciting announcement for tonight. And The Rock puts his hand up, stops Kevin Kelly speaking, does his whole steal. Finally, The Rock has come back to Farringdon. And tonight, The Rock has got a little surprise for Mother. Told to see The Rock. He doesn't know his role, but now he will. <laughs> and tonight, The Rock. He goes off screen for a second. He comes back, not wearing any pants and a red shirt. Okay, that's good. I am Rudy the Pooh. Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Good. Then he, he walks off to the kitchen. Cool. Kevin Kelly pulls a face to camera and then, <laughs> then it cuts to. Hello, Rudy the Pooh! Good morning, Mother. Do you want some the, honey? The Rock would love some honey. Oh, my love. See if I've got any for you. I don't know why. He looks at the camera. I don't know why I offered a for you. See if I've got any. But never mind. Uh, oh, I've got a 12. I've got loads of honey for you, my love. The rock will climb into the honey jar <laughs> with his ass out and <laughs> just start eating the honey. Uh, Mother just stares at him for an uncomfortably long time. <laughs> and then we cut to Big Number Bob. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so Big Noah Bob is uh, going to start the day standing in the uh, doorway of the kitchen because he is a knob. And anyone who knows uh, Warhammer 40k lore, knobs are basically just about nine, ten foot green big boys. So he can't really get through the door until, a fo until eventually he kind of like lazily shoves himself through with his shoulders <laughs> and his head breaking the doorway. And he goes, Good morning, mother. How are you doing? Jesus Christ. Hello, Big Number Bob, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How about you, love? I'm all right, I'm just... She looks at the rock again, with his arse sticking out the honey pot. Just having a lovely morning. <laughs> oh, I bet. Also, I've got a question to ask you. 
All right, we have. How do you pay for this ass? Uh, well, oh, there's some law coming. <laughs> this this ass was left to me by grandmother many years ago. It was only worth like a couple of quid <laughs> back in the day. Did you declare that on claims in the uh, in the inheritance with the inheritance tax? I got fourteen. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good then. I'm happy now. Good. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, I love a brew. Oh, this is one. Walk away from the tea. <laughs> oh, my darling. My mother got an 18, so she makes two very good cups of tea for you both. Um, <laughs> we then cut to Tommy Tumble. So he's uh, making his way down the stairs, and he's uh, doing a quick roll. Uh, he's making sure not to roll over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he makes his way into the kitchen, and he sees this large thing in front of him and the rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, morning, everyone. How, how, how are you doing? What's, go- what's going on? Why the rocks? <laughs> Sorry, just why is, why is the rock, the uh, rock dipping, uh, eating honey, and is half naked? The rocks turned into Winnie the Pooh <laughs> today, because uh, you know Winnie the Pooh is now in the public domain, so it's okay for the rock to do this. The rock loves pancakes, and he's going to put honey on the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> And the rock starts cooking up some pancakes. Lovely. Starts so squeezing his muscles to like get the honey. <laughs> this is lovely. Oh, um, right. Uh, 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 what's this? And he just kind of gazes up and sees this giant green thing. Uh, what are you? I'm Big Number Bob. I know a lot of big numbers, and I work for HMRC. <laughs> Who are you? Do you know fourteen? I know, but I know fourteen. We're big, we're good mates. I got fourteen. I got a seven. I got a twenty-eight. I know them all. I'm pretty good, me. I'm sure What's the references biggest... are great, but I don't understand what's going on. What's the biggest number you know? Oh, um, fifty billion. Oof. I, I've counted into that and all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right, Tommy, do you want a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, three sugars and uh, a pint of milk. Pint of milk? <laughs> I like my tea with no tea in <laughs> So what you want is milk, mate. You Sugar want milk. sugary milk. <laughs> Have a tea bag. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Oh, on so the side? <laughs> Let me roll again, hold on. <laughs> oh, 20. What a waste of a 20. Oh, here you go. Mother, mother pops a tea bag in a pint of milk and adds three sugars to it and then like hands it to you. And it's, because it's a 20, it's perfect. And she goes, that is a oh, fucking what? waste of a 20, that one. <laughs> how is this? How did you get this so warm? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the secret to a good tea, an entire pint of milk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt. Oh, go on. The rocker's rock's finished making his pancakes. We're going to see how well they turned out. That is a two. Okay, they are disgusting. <laughs> it's all the sweat. All the milk's gone, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> right. they're, just, they're just completely drenched with honey and it's far too sweet. <laughs> well, the well, rocks made pancakes, but you probably wouldn't have them. Uh, well, check an eye. Got a 20. I'll have one, fuck it! Can you all have attention, please? <laughs> That is a two. I've got four, so mother fucking Christ. Thankfully, she's fine. Oh, that was edible. <laughs> just about. Well. You can let the rocks pancakes. If you can have the rocks through it later. Oh, later. Oh, fuck it, that's fine. I never get any love. Uh, there's a sign above mother saying that's, that's a lie. Right, everyone. I've got a little task for you. I need you all to go to the budget to buy me a scratch card. And some milk. <laughs> no, no, shut up. I asked that's you. Some, that's some Tamana tequila. It is the best <laughs> tequila I've ever created. You want to get the milk and the tequila, you can, but I need you to go buy me a scratch card. That's my task. Do you have any money? No, I can't want to give you any money, sorry. Oh, Dork wants to do one thing. Yeah, what's that? What's your favourite number? Ooh. A number three. Well, the Rock will find a number three scratch card for you. Just for you, mother. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Is that the scratch card you want? Uh, no, I want, I want number 12, but that's fine. <laughs> but the Rock, oh. I've got to take your first answer. The Rock is going to buy me a number three, but I would like a number 12 scratch card. <laughs> All right. Well, that one is just the rock's gift to you. You can oh. have the number 12 as well. You're very nice. <laughs> well, we're going to have to find some money along the way. But don't worry about that. The rock, the rock knows some people. Don't worry. Uh, aren't you worth, like, a million dollars or something? 
Millions! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and millions! Of Rox Dollars will come to us, help us. That's lucky. Big Mo, number Bog would like to go to the living room to have a little check around for any uh, any scratch, any, any card, not scratch cards, <laughs> any coins, <laughs> and any scratch cards. Can you roll a perception, please, Jake? Yes, uh, that's an 11. Cool, I got, a, I got a 10. So you see the living room is a fucking mess. There's a, like a, a Christmas tree that's fallen over on the floor and a big hole in the floor <laughs> leading to the basement um, where the Christmas tree was. And there's just like owl, sh- owl shit <laughs> and like stained blood from past adventures uh, in the living room. Okay, well, what he's gonna do is uh, he's just gonna take some of that trash and stick it onto his hand, and now he has a power claw <laughs> and a Christmas tree and stick it onto his back um, because, you know, orc reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, did he find any cash? Uh, you got 11, didn't you? Yes. Uh, he. F- uh, he notices uh, one of the, even though the house is a, the living room is a mess, the one of the cushions is like slightly askew on the sofa. Oh, he's gonna pick up that cushion, that skewed cushion. Lovely. Can you roll a twenty, please? Not enough. I just turn to see what see what's going to happen. Seventeen. I've got, I've got a five. Uh, Ten pounds just falls out of the cushion. Oh wow, a killer! Oh well, that's well, really, it's about seven fifty if you take away tax. <laughs> Okay, so has... the, the big white hand comes down and takes away some money, so now it's only seven pounds fifty. <laughs> thank, thank you, big white hand. You're keeping our roads clean. And, you... <laughs> and Boris Rich. It gives you a thumbs up and then he looks sad somehow. <laughs> yeah, everyone's sad at that, except for big number Bob, because he's done a job well. <laughs> you still have to pay that tax money at the shop. Oh, well, that's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> That, that they better, then they better be, and they better be, they better not do cash in hand, or else the oh, big number Bob's gonna have some issues. But you have the cash in your hand. Yes, but I've already taxed it from the big white hand, so he's fine now. It's all it's all fine. Technically, it isn't. It's actually fine anyway, because if you've got it, as long as you've got like a, a considerable amount of money over that. But you know, he's he's stingy. Every penny must be taxed. Mother's staring at the camera, just like I fucking hate maths. <laughs> <laughs> Before we set off, the rock needs to go to the bathroom. As the rock is completely sticky, and would not want to go outside covered in honey, <laughs> in case the rock is attacked by bees. Thank yeah. God you ended it. What with covered shit in honey. sentence? Fuck. Mm, beer. Uh, so the rock can go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm just gonna just look around, see if there's a sink or some soap near it. Cool. Roll a perception, please. Is a fifteen. Uh, I got a 12. So on the, the window, the window, the mirror on the bathroom um, has like smudged lipstick all over it. There was something written on there previously, but it's all been hastily scrubbed off. Uh, the rock all attempt to clean it, can't be asked, then he washes himself off in the sink. <laughs> and as he washes himself off, he realizes he wants to get a new roll. Mother looks at um, Tommy Tumble and says, Anything you want to explore before you leave, my love? Uh, yeah, all right. I'll have a quick gander outside. Um, just, uh, have, you, have you done your, your edge recently? Looks a bit different. <laughs> no, I haven't. Unless you're talking about my fanny. In which case, I also I have could, I, could, I, could, I, I could be on about that, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, let's have a look, see what I have then. Oh, I got a one. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fanny is as bushy as <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Welcome to the land, sir, where we dogs for cheer. The score's always changing and we all might die. Look at my vagina, look at my vagina. A grunty beast can't see come and touch my quim. Like a deflated condom I threw it in the bin. Look at my vagina, look at my vagina. Horse is on fire, can't think as a log. Oh, I'm all fired up and I'll suck off your dog. Look at my vagina, look at my vagina. Did you my dingo and wiggle my wolf? Creep in my bush, let's check under my roof. Push like a law because I'm mother, you can't. Constantly thirsty for dick in my bum. Rip me and strive me until I'm left sore. If you have a deal, just call me a whore. It's not just my mother's just fucking in it. The butt is a scratch card, what the fuck am I on about? Oh, Jesus Christ, lads. No, please, yes. Yeah. Look at my vagina. Look at my vagina. Look at my vagina. I mean, yes, 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 yes. It's also oh, susceptible dear. to catching fire. And probably dry and dusty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's a snake in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it, love. There's a snake in my cooch. <laughs> oh. Good God. Right. Do you want to <laughs> roll yourself into it, Fanny? 
Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I think. Well, you said are, we talking, yes, are, are we talking American family? We're we talking front family. Oh, f- my, my cat. <laughs> so you said yes, and obviously, once you stop, what did you start rolling? You cannot stop. Can you roll a twenty first? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, I got four. Uh, so you. <laughs> This does not go well for Mother. She's not dying uh, currently. You just can't. You just kind of roll straight into into Mother, <laughs> and you get. It's like um, Sonic Spinball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so like, God. You land in between her legs, and you're, you're still rolling, but you're not moving anywhere. You're just rolling. Can you roll over twenty, please? Twelve. So like, you've got a ten. Um, so Mother's not dead. You're just. <laughs> Just currently stuck spinning around into mother, but not not going in her, just against her, like a bike wheel. Uh, mother's like, can someone help? Um, <laughs> oh, help, 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 help. So, some like pump up music starts playing, um, and in walks the rock, but his hair's bleached blonde um, because it Marshall Mathers who the rock is. For fuck's sake! And he comes in and says. My palms are spitty, you're weak, balls itty bitty. There's puppies in your sweater already. Man with titties. You're nervous. <laughs> Stop you know, we'll be singing. painless. We need the rocks. Help. Shut up. The rock is finishing his rhymes. <laughs> you're nervous because you know that it won't be painless. The rock's going to kick the scratch and shove it up your slim anus. Mother's like, yay! You, you fucking what? <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you call my anus? Uh, the rock. Revine's time. No, okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> okay, I'm just done now. <laughs> um, I was like just pointing. Get some, please. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, I was going to say, we need a poop. You teased your fucking shirt, you cunt. <laughs> Has anyone got anything red on them? Um, I, uh, I guess. The rock no, red is yellow. notes. That's not ah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Uh, uh, big number Bob has the Christmas tree that has some red baubles. Oh, lovely. Can you shove it in Tommy's face? Oh, let the rock do it. No, I've got to do it. <laughs> I want to do it. He's going to take his power claw hand and then just like shove it in Tommy's face, which oh. might kill him. Um, okay, well, I'm well, well, sent to you two then. Well, I am spinning quite fast. So I would say there's a chance that you'd be caught up in the rolling as well. Oh, yeah, he's going to lose an arm, but he got, 50, he got 15. <laughs> but oh, roll. no. 13. Okay, so okay, yes. Yeah, so this you you spin around so fast as he shoves the tree in your face, it just kind of decapitates your head, um, and you still spin for a little while, like when a chicken loses its head. Mm. But then eventually you stop, and Tommy is dead. Uh oh. Oh shit! It's happened again. This is like a reverse birth. <laughs> oh no. It's just as much blood. There's enough red now, isn't there, Tommy? Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go to the hospital and we'll fix him. Come on. You can't fix his head being decapitated, Bob. You can't. You can if you want it hard enough. <laughs> no, do you know? Sorry, sharp. That's how orcs work. If we all collectively want it hard enough, it'll happen. Oh, it's what? actually really. It's actually true. It's part. Yeah. Of- the law. Sorry, mate, aren't, you, aren't, you, aren't you dead, Bacon? <laughs> it's, it's all it's cool. It's outside. Uh, well, Bacon, the, um, the, the rules do not say your character cannot speak. It says if you are dead, then you can't speak. Oh. So, unfortunately, because of that, uh, the orc is dead. Oh, oh no! No! Uh, dead. <laughs> now, orc, you were standing above Mother. Can you roll over 20, please? It's a three! Okay, good. Because I got a one. Um, so the orc <laughs> lands on Mother and just squats the bits and she dies. Oh, no. What? 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 The orc looks at the camera and says, I guess they didn't know their role. Yay! Oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. Bang. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> 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 Thanks for clearing that up. Oh, Jesus. Beautiful. This is loop 206. Alex is still staying as the rock, but the Jake and Bacon are switching. So, yes. Jake, who are you playing as first of all? Uh, actually, I might switch, switch, stay as Big Number Bob because my prep for character two isn't quite ready yet. Okie dokie. Uh, and you wanted to mention stuff about Big Number Bob as well, didn't you? Yes, Big Number Bob, I forgot to mention last episode, is one of my famed children of piss. Um, <laughs> 
Not that it really matters whether it's adding to something, or maybe it will. We'll never know. But we, we might. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yes, we will. Bacon is changing character. So, Bacon, who are you playing as? I'm going with an old favourite mm-hmm. from episode three, Cannibal the Elves. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I know. Hold on a second. If that's that... the case, I'll change characters as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, um, I'll read through the bio. It has been a hot minute since I've played him. Uh, he has an immense propensity for eggs. He has lots of pockets because his dad taught him to have lots of pockets when he was in the military. He likes to stuff them with various eggs, mostly scrambled. He likes to wear sandals, even if it's cold enough to wear a jacket out. And it's that little bit of freedom his dad denied him. His girlfriend has 17 chillers, fingers, Soto, Donk, Eddie, Gin, and Moreau, and the sausage that he loves equally. And his sister, Belle de Hells, owns one large moth that nobody likes. He works on a chicken farm. <laughs> somehow, <laughs> uh, somehow, due to uh, things that happen, he's grown some extra appendages and now has four legs. He also likes to eat other humans. Bro, he has a lot of pockets and has four legs. <laughs> con, <laughs> he has lots of eggs, is a cannibal. Oh. Actually, I wouldn't say that's a con, I have lots of eggs, but you know. <laughs> He said it, so it is now. <laughs> yeah. Also, this one count. We've, we, I in an earlier episode said, "How is that a con?" And you, you argued that it was a con. So you can't <laughs> just change your mind now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so Alex is changing now. So Alex, who are you? <laughs> I'm Belle de Hells. Yeah. Belle de Hells is a strange person. She's a pet moth, which uh, is a atlas moth. She hates pockets. She prefers nature's pocket. That's right. She likes to dig holes. She has a brother who's a strange man. She thinks kangaroos are fictional as unicorns because they would be an abomination to nature because they're pouches. <laughs> well, she thinks unicorns are actually real. Uh, her favourite colour smells like the number seven. The moth's name is Fanny Pack. Uh, so her positive trait is uh, she can dig a hole in anything, also tends to find things in the hole that they could use for later. Mm-hmm. Um, negative trait is triggered by people putting things in pockets. Like she, she just goes in like a big angry sock and just like... <laughs> Great, and Ollie, <laughs> who are you playing as? Charwiji. Charwiji, who is basically Charlie from Always Sunny, but uh, also Luigi. Uh, his pros are that um, he has a hoover that can suck up ghosts and all manner of things that can also help to find coins. And he carries spaghetti around with him in bags. His uh, faults are he does sometimes have a bit of a, um, a glue addiction. Oh, and um, just based on what I saw recently, he basically does fuck all. Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, the I'm Here Too character. Terrible film. Uh, very <laughs> awful fucking waste of a fucking... He should have been Toad. Heads, tails. <laughs> Heads. What is tails? No do-over, I'm afraid. Oh, you. <laughs> Uh, so weather and mood. It is a rainy eleven. So it's, 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 it's technically above average. It is raining quite hard, but nothing terrible to be honest. It, it's coming and going. A mother is feeling sad. Today. <sighs> it's a rainy day in Farringdon. Mother's in the kitchen making a cup of tea. We'll cut first of all to Big Number Bob. So Big Number Bob is in already in the kitchen on his little work computer. It's a very small two thousand and one Dell laptop uh, because you know the government's cheap as fuck and they will not give anyone any anything nice uh, and he's just typing away with his big giant orc fingers trying to get the keys but he's having to use kind of like the back end of a fork just to kind of get up there as he counts <laughs> from like one plus nine plus eight but, but, but the gratuity tax takes <laughs> off the three and he's just kind of mumbling to himself kind of sat in his little chair all ten foot of him Good. Uh, we then cut to Charwiji. <laughs> Charwiji, he wakes up, he stretches, he pops on his uh, little denim dungarees, his green hat, backpack on with the hoover, and then just sits there. Yep. And then for no reason, uh, take on me, starts playing. Yep. <sighs> That's good. Yep. Great. Don't get away! <laughs> oh my God. What? I have to say, I'll say it anyway! Today is another day to forge you! Try to call me Kaiju! <laughs> you then cut to. I don't know those songs went to Pocket Dimension. <laughs> oh, we then cut to Cannibal to Hells. Uh, Cannibal to Hells is lying uh, in his bed, 
sort of like a, how a horse would in his little stable because he's got his four legs and so on. <laughs> He is gets up. Part centaur. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget he's part centaur? Yeah. I mean, he's got four legs. Where are they going to go? On his head? Wherever you want. Well, no, he's a centaur. Okay. <laughs> yeah, stop being silly. Come on. Not being this. Not in this game. God. <laughs> so because of this, he's butt naked from the bottom down, and because he's still human, he doesn't have like the the fur of a centaur. He's just like skin and a, a little winky. Right. Delicious. <laughs> uh, he then makes his way downstairs. Uh, his, uh... Sorry, have you ever seen a horse walk downstairs? Can you roll over twenty, please? I think horses can, cows can't, but yes. we'll see where. But have you seen a horse walk downstairs? <laughs> I think they try and avoid it. <laughs> exactly, roll over twenty, please. Eleven. <laughs> I got a thirteen. Uh, so, like, you, you make your way like halfway down the stairs, and then something spooks you. So you go like, <laughs> I'm not so horse. I'm just have like horse like features. <laughs> Don't care, mate. So you you stumble backwards, and then you trip down the stairs in the horsey mess, and you collapse and die at the bottom of the stairs. Well, with the eggs in my pockets, would they cushion my landing by any chance? Roll a twenty, see if it does. Ah. <laughs> no, I got a one. Okay, I got a seventeen. Yeah, you're just dead, mate. You just <laughs> the eggs just kind of the eggs just float in the air a bit and fall back down on your face. I feel we uh, need to do a, uh, the redo roll. According, oh, there is according, a one. according to oh, Equine Helper, by the way, uh, horses uh, are capable of climbing stairs, but they're difficult to go downstairs because they can't see their feet. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so why can't cows go down then? A stupid cow. A cow's in it. Oh, we yeah. didn't cut to Bell Deals. <laughs> Uh, Bloody Elves was coming down the stairs and sees her brother just die, and she kind of just like, huh. Um, <laughs> dig the old frame, I suppose. I'm going to dig a hole Yeah, I'm going to take just drag back to the gun, dig it all the way for him. Cool. Um, what a perception, please. Oops. 15. <laughs> Got a one. Uh, so as you're digging a hole in the garden, uh, you notice, you see, uh, on a one, you see there are. A tunnel has been dug underneath the ground uh, of the garden, uh, and there are like poor slash human prints all over the tunnel. Oh, funny fact! A secret tunnel. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> and she will explore the cave. Um, oh, hang on, um, mother! I'm just going to find the secret tunnel. I just go in, into finding it. Okay. <laughs> mother doesn't care. Let everyone else know where I am. All right. As mother like. Still making a tea goes, Can of bloody hell, she's just in the garden, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. I hope she has a really good time. Hello, Bob. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? I'm all right. How about you? Oh, I'm a little bit sad today. Oh, you know what makes me happy when I'm sad? <laughs> What's that, mate? Lots of lots of violence. Oh. And a lot of dacca and doing my taxes on time. <laughs> Here. You can borrow my baseball bat. Just go, just break the table. It'll make you feel good. And he hands her a baseball bat. Oh, thank you, my love. Mother smashes the table. I'm going to roll for the table. Hey. Uh, the table just gets destroyed into pieces. Um, the table rolled a two, mother rolled a 16. The table is just destroyed. You feel better now? Uh, let's roll for it. <laughs> I feel <laughs> cheeky now. I oh, really... good. Just scream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, feel good, doesn't it? On hearing these noises, Charuigi realizes that uh, he should be downstairs, and so jumps up in a blind panic and uh, has to like st st just starts running. And uh, uh, I need a hero starts playing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Louie, you are Charuigi. Ah, oh, morning, mother. How you doing? Have you seen Mario? Ah, it's a roll for it. No, the one. I've seen nothing. Oh, yeah. shit! Well, I'm just gonna stand here then! Alright! <laughs> Mother ignores him. Big, no, <laughs> big mama, mama Bob just points at Charlie Weed, like, oh, green! Oh, we're green, <laughs> like, hey, green lad! You're right. Hello! Equally green person! Yeah, uh, we're green! No. Green! Yeah! Uh, uh, one start a war. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a big war! Who are we fighting? I oh, don't know anyone. There's someone in the garden, we could fight them. Yeah, let's go to the garden and fucking fight and do some shit. Yeah, let's go start a war. And he's just gonna just 
politely walk out of the house around the garden. Cool. He's not. He's not. He's not a monster. <laughs> Charlie's gonna do like his little joggy run. And <laughs> As you just leave, mother just like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you go to the garden, you see there's a big hole uh, with <laughs> Cannibal DL's legs sticking out of the hole because <laughs> it's been buried in there. And uh, we see Bell DL's is in the hole as well. Oi, you! Oh, hi! Found a secret tunnel. What, what? What's in this tunnel? Well, I don't know, it's a secret. Oh. What do you think, Fatty Pack? The moth is just kind of like, it's a moth. It has no emotion, which is kind of like. <laughs> Flaps his wings. This thing seems like big red Atlas moth print. Uh, big number Bob's is going to lean over to 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 Chowiji. Like, this one's a fucking nutter. She's speaking <laughs> to a moth. What a weirdo. Chowiji just takes um, a big half of glue. Like, <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> that didn't happen in the film. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have uh, Ch- Chawiji is just going to get out his vacuum and stick it down the tunnel and okay. turn it on. Can you Ollie roll a 20 and also Alex roll a 20 as well, please? <laughs> I got a, four, got a 14. I got a 10. Cool, I got a 3. So, Belziel's jumps out of the hole quickly before the, any sucking happens. Um, <laughs> So she's absolutely fine. Now, now. <laughs> she's fine. But two uh, human cats are stuck up into the vacuum and are killed by the other Oh, whoa. Well, I guess that's a good start. Bit of war. Are we having a war? Rather than a war, do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> do you want one? Yeah, who are you fighting? I don't know yet. I, I was going to... I was going to say you, but then you're in an hole, and then we're going to see them cats, but they're already dead. You can't fight family, we're all part of the same family. I always think we should fight the pocket dimension. The what? <laughs> Everyone with pockets, you know, the bastards with pockets, fucking hate them. Oh. oh, I don't like pockets, I don't have any. Yeah, you know, just that my brother used to just have so many pockets. I say used to, he was dead on the stairs now. Um, <laughs> His leg <laughs> just twitches. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's twitching. Hey, is that pocket dimension in that hole? That's what I thought. I mean, let's go in and have a look. All right, but I'm going to need a big digger. I'm a bit big. And and uh, Big Nob Bob's going to uh, piece himself together a big oh, digging you can, machine. You can use my shovel. That'll help. Oh, I'm going to make it more dacker, innit? <laughs> and he's just going to find something in the shed to make it like a super-powered automatic shovel. Look, roll, roll, roll a 20, please. 19! So in the in the shed, somehow you find a full JCB. <laughs> uh, that JCB is now attached. Is now his arm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'll leave you to the digging. Let's go, let's go and get some tea from mother because we're really good construction workers. So is, is everyone going in the hole? Yeah. In the hole. Yeah. Uh, so you get in the hole. Can you all roll? Have a please. Uh, oh, oh, so no, that's an eight. That's a four. Uh, nineteen. I got seven. So. <laughs> uh, char- <sighs> Obviously, Luigi is used to going underground and into holes, and then Charlie's used to going into small spaces and sewers. He's absolutely fine. Big number Bob jumps in and like just starts fucking digging away in the hole, which unfortunately <laughs> makes the dirt fall down on Bell's house and crushes her to death. <laughs> As a save, can it kill the moth instead? Uh, roll a 20, see if it does. 14. Well, 17, unfortunately it kills both of you. <laughs> That's half the fun of the war. It's not like fun if you don't, if some of you don't die. Five people are dead already. We're on a record. It's yeah. just like a friend you lose along the way. <laughs> just going to keep digging in, like, despite the <laughs> body. He's just being there. Just... We quickly cut to the kitchen. Mother's was like, ah, this is nice. <laughs> we don't come back to the hole. <laughs> uh, keep digging. Hey. Green guy, I-, I got a question for you. D- do you have a good relationship with your father? I don't know, my dad. I don't even know how I was born, if I'm totally honest. But I've got lots of brothers. Okay, they're, they're let's move right. on from that topic then. <laughs> <laughs> so you, are you digging down or are you digging... Oh, uh, I don't know. Where, where's the hole leading to? We just okay. make it bigger. Time to roll our direction dice. Uh oh! You, <laughs> you are digging straight south, which is in this case down. Uh-oh. Um, so <laughs> um, Minecraft rules. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna roll twenty. See how far. No, I'm gonna roll d100. Fuck it. See how far you're digging. 
Okay, you, <laughs> you dig uh, 85 meters deep in the ground. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh shit! Oi, little green rock man! <laughs> yeah! Uh, I need you to remind me of something. When we get back up top, I gotta ring my brother at the how at the uh, at the planning <laughs> committee. I don't think this is regulation. <laughs> but we'll worry about that later after our war. Uh, I ordered two just now. The JCB runs out of gas. Oh no! Shall uh... <laughs> <laughs> you just there with the torch, like flashing it? Mario! I don't know who he is, but you know what will do us a, a hand? Give us that fucking vacuum cleaner. Oh, this is my that's my vacuum cleaner. I need I it. I kill two cats with it. Yeah, and I can get us through the hole quicker. I need more! <laughs> Please! I'll do your taxes. <laughs> I mean, I gotta do something! So, he yeah, he, have my vacuum cleaner! He, he then doesn't do anything. <laughs> you just stand, yeah, just stand, I've just stand there. I'm just saying thing. I would do it, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll a twenty feet both. Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ! This is really bad. <laughs> oh, do we have to roll? Yes. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> I got a twelve. A fourteen. Somehow I got a one. So <laughs> you both thrive in this hole. <laughs> You're having a great time. We're making up songs. It's going yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, but you, oh no, you said we thrive. So we literally with um fallouting this shit. We build like a full on little bunker type yeah. thing and we f we make an orc war gang and we multiply <laughs> and spread. A, a Luigi orc accountant underground society. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? We're having a big war. We need more boys. <laughs> so now we have an army. Good. Because the and what are we going to do? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> we have an army of, of blood curdling accountants who don't want to do anything. We come to the, <laughs> cut, to, we cut to the kitchen, mother's just like on her phone, just like. <sighs> Where are they? Crush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still stuck on level one. She's checking the calendar to see which loop it is. Like, no. Same one. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to keep digging down <laughs> because they know no better. Uh, of course, the fuck is stuck. We cut back to the, the cave <laughs> in the hole, 83 meters down on the ground. It's getting pretty hot down here. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I think like we, 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 we've got a big army now. Uh, so um, let's uh, let's get in our vehicles for for no reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go back up. It's a bit warm down here. Then we can yeah. start a big war. There's lots of people upstairs. Big war! Upstairs. I, think mo <laughs> I think Mother wanted something as well. Up fucking stairs in the a... underground. <laughs> an, arm an army of giant orc digging machines uh, with giant hoovers on the front of them are going to go back up to the service and invade the uh, Farringdon. To the tune of Thunderstruck. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to roll an alternative for all the army. Um, okay, two 14s. <laughs> they get like two foot in the air and just, they realize they can't drive up and just fall <laughs> back down. So can you both roll an alternative, please? They're going to keep trying, though. Uh, 17! God damn it. They we got a 10. Uh, so one of the, all the cars like miss Big Number Bob and just crush Charlie Oh no! <laughs> Just a bit, a bit. So, Big Number Bob's gonna go back to the kitchen. How? Oh, he's climbing. I guess. So. <laughs> sure. He'll uh, dig up. We'll just dig upwards in in a kind of like Minecraft fashion. In that case, can you roll level twenty, please? Oh, that's a six. I got a nine. Oh, uh, no. So, because it's a sexy number, um, you get fucked by an earthworm and die. <laughs> uh, that sounds very old. <laughs> Uh, so that's sleep with 100, that's sleep with 206 on the board. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? We foiled we an invasion from the Orc Horde for Farringdon. We dug a hole. I don't... I don't Honestly, I think... I can't it's... recall a loop where we didn't even ask. No. 
No, we could have asked the task, we ignored it, it went to dig a hole. Yeah. <laughs> there was a mystery hole. <laughs> oh. My privacy. I'm also. I'm also gone. That's the oh. end. That's the oh. end credit thing already. Just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>